Day two of the mining show. We're here with Peter Cashin from Imperial Mining. Peter, good morning. How nice are to see you again. Yeah, likewise. Now, I saw you last May and you were on another transaction at the time. I see that's evolved. Correct. How did you come to be in Imperial Mining? Uh, well, Imperial, I, I, in actual fact, they, I'll back it up a little bit. Um, when I, I was with Quest, I ran Quest uh, through from 08 to 2015. Right. When I left them, I brought a technology metals property with me called the Crater Lake property. And I tried to find a home for it. I put it into a, a whole co by the name of Peak uh, Mining Corporation. Right. The idea was to try to make it to be a become a public entity. Uh, fell on a tough market. So uh, what I did instead is I sought uh, a junior, a dormant junior that had some good gold and base metal properties, and it's uh, the so it's NQE. Uh, NQ Exploration. Right. And I, I took those, we did a, a reverse takeover, we threw it into Imperial, I threw my uh, technology metals property uh, into it as well, and we went public uh, just at the beginning of January, as a matter of fact. This right, year. that's Crater Lake. That's the Crater Lake opportunity. And where's that located? That's northeastern Quebec, east of the Shefferville, in okay. the iron mining area. Now you have a project named Soquim. Uh, it's called Car Heel. Okay. But our partner is Soquim. Right. Uh, Socom is a uh, the Quebec government's Crown uh, Exploration Corporation. So, really, their mandate is to stimulate exploration in the province of Quebec uh, for different commodities. Uh, and uh, Car Hill, in particular, is uh, the extension of what uh, Socom calls their B26 property, and it's uh, they've defined about 11 million ton uh, massive sulfide, copper zinc. Uh, volcanogenic masses sulfide. Okay. Uh, they just recently optioned our ground, uh, and they're going to be undertaking about four million dollars of exploration over the next four years because they feel, as we do, that there's some very good uh, copper zinc potential on the property. And they've made you a cash payment. Correct. And they can buy up to fifty percent for almost four million dollars over four correct. years. That's correct. It's a good project. They're good operators. I mean, they know the camp cold. So uh, aside from ourselves, uh, they're, they're they're the best second opportunity, I think, to advance the uh, the potential of the property. And you're in the right neighborhood. There's the past producing Selby mine that kicked out 53, 53 million tons. Correct. And looking at my numbers, because I have to cheat to read them, one point nine percent zinc, one percent copper. 40.7 grams per ton? Yeah, it was, it was open pitable, so it was really a low cost opportunity. And that was BHP Billiton that operated that, that thing. It, when was that? That would have been the 1980s and 90s. And uh, now it's on care maintenance for the uh, tailings pond. And, right. Uh, uh, Glencore has that right now. Okay, so you're in the right neighborhood. Yeah. Good project, yep. good partner. What do we look for next? Um, well, I'm being carried, so it's a good project, and uh, we have technical input on the direction of the exploration for that particular project. But I really think that uh, the gold opportunities that were in NQ that are now in Imperial have some very good potential. Um, the old guys... Uh, are you going to work an, those yourselves? Or well, yeah, project? no, I think they're, it's, they're the kind of properties that have been worked uh, back in the 1980s and 90s. I think I have to put a little bit of meat on the bone before I consider uh, looking for a partner on those. I have a fondness for properties like that yeah. that have been worked and forgotten. Yeah. Well, they're, you know, the, the old guys, when you drill down a 100 meter vertical, that was a very deep hole back then. Right. And, and these, these big gold systems, we know, they can go for kilometers. And I think there is that kind of kilometer uh, strike length and depth opportunity in these structures. They're in camps uh, in the Shibugumu, South Shibugumu camps. So there's a lot of activity going on there. There's, um, uh, good infrastructure, is, uh, good infrastructure, good labor. Correct. You can drive to the property. Good First Nations relations. Yeah, I do as well. I, 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 it's all Cree, uh, First Nations Cree communities, which I'm familiar with. And, and uh, one of my directors, as a matter of fact, has a very good relationship with the local Cree community. Uh, and I'm going to use his, his uh, help and support to open some new doors with the uh, community leaders. Right. I think uh, CSR, uh, Corporate Social Responsibility, is a very big uh, Canadian subject. Canadian miners are the best at it. We're going to be bringing a, a new uh, person to the board uh, who's a CSR expert, because I really truly think that that's an important component of Exploration Canada. I was meeting with a company who's doing work in Cambodia, and their CSR has been tremendous. They yeah. led with CSR. And the Canadian miners are the best at it in the world. Yeah, I think it's important. You have to consider them as uh, partners first and foremost and uh, get them actively involved with what you're trying to do. 
you dispel the concerns about the hidden agendas by mining companies and you make them a partner. So that's, it's great. important. So we'll check in with you probably halfway through the summer work program and get an update. That How's works that? great. Nice great. to see you Peter. again, Peter. Super, thanks, thanks for your time. very much, likewise.